Hi students. Today we will be learning a very interesting chapter that is integer. Now before discussing what do you mean by integer, let us learn something about a number. Now you know the number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But these are all a positive number. There are some negative numbers also. But let us learn what do you mean by that negative numbers. When you want to count something, from which number you will start counting? You will count from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. You will not count from 0. So, this 1, 2, 3 and 4 and so on, we call this number as counting number. This counting number starts from 1. The other name for counting number is natural number. So the smallest natural number is 1 and the biggest natural number is infinity. We cannot say which is the biggest natural number. Where the number ends, we don't know. So these are the numbers which we call it as a counting number or a natural number. Now let's say there are other number which starts from 0. Now what do we call that number? Starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. This number are called whole number. Now natural number starts from 1 but the whole number starts from 0. Is it clear? There are other number other than whole number and natural number and that we call it as integer. This integer has a positive one also a negative one. Are you confused? Okay, let me clear your doubt. Let me make a number line. In the middle, I will write 0. On the right side, 1. 1 means it is plus 1. 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. On the left side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So, these numbers are called as integer. Below 0, below 0 is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and goes on. Above 0 is plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 and it goes on. So these are the numbers which we call it as integer. Now what you learn something new from this integer is a negative sign. In natural number, it starts from 1, 2, 3 and goes on. In whole number, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and goes on. But the left side is something new which we call it as an integer. So in the integer, 0 is there, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 is there, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 is there. So minus as well as positive, that is plus. Both the numbers are included in this integer. Now let me tell you something about that integer. Now you have learned that in the integer there are positive number as well as a negative number. Now what do you mean by that positive number and what do you mean by that negative number? Let's learn. When you write minus 5, you write in this way. When you write minus 37, you write minus 37. When you write minus 50, you write minus 50. But this is called as a negative number and for positive number minus 5 positive you write as plus 5 but there is no need of writing that plus 5 plus sign that means you can write only 5. 5 means 
plus 5. Minus 37, it is 37. That means it is plus 37. Again, I am saying you don't write that plus sign. Minus 50, you write it as 50. And you read it as, actually it is a plus 50. Similarly, let's talk with other number, a greater number. So, in a greater number, let's say 100. So, minus 100 is negative number. So, how you write that plus 100? You write 100. But minus 100, you write minus 100. So, these are the negative numbers and these are the positive numbers. We call this as a integer. Let us solve practice set 4. In practice set 4, the question given is, classify the following number as positive number and negative number. First sum is given as minus 5. Minus 5 is what? It is a negative number. Just you have to write whether it is a negative number or positive number. Second it is given plus 4. It is positive number. So if it is negative, write negative. If it is positive, write positive. Now the second sum is given is given below are the temperature in some cities. Right? them using a proper sign. Now temperature is given in this way 7 degree Celsius below 0 degree. Now we are solving practice set 4. 7 degree below 0. How you write? Now below 0 means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. That means below 0 the word in below 0 comes, it is negative. So, you have to write minus 7 degree Celsius. Second, it is given 12 degree below 0 degree. So, again below comes, it is minus 12 degree Celsius. Next, 22 degree Celsius above 0 degree. Now, it is given above. Above 0 means plus sign. So, it is plus 22 degrees Celsius, but we do not write this plus sign. Then 31 degree above 0 degree, it is 31 degrees Celsius, that is plus degree, plus 31 degree Celsius, but no need of writing the plus sign. Next uh, sums comes, that is a third sum, write the number in the following example using a proper sign. In the first sum, a submarine is at a depth. Depth means below. Below the sea. A submarine is at the depth of 5, 1, 12 meter below sea level. Now, when the word comes below sea level, means it is minus 512 meter. Second sum is the height of a Mount Everest. You know the Mount Everest. The height of a Mount Everest. That means it is above. The height, highest peak is 8848 meter. So, height of the Mount Everest means Mount Everest is above the earth. So, it is positive, above. A kite is flying at a distance of 120 meter. So, from the ground. So, if ground is 0, above the ground it is flying a distance of 120 meter. So, that is positive. Fourth one, a tunnel is at a depth of 2 meter under the ground. Depth means down. A tunnel is, suppose this is a ground. A tunnel is drawn here with a depth of 2 meter, which is underground. So, it is negative, minus 2 meter. So, now it is clear what is negative number and what is positive number. So, today we will learn something new using some sign. So, there is a sign given in below here. The sign is plus into plus that comes plus plus into minus that is minus minus into plus that is minus plus into plus sorry 
minus into minus is plus. So plus into plus is plus. Plus into minus is minus. Minus into plus is minus. Minus into minus is plus. Now what you observe here, when both the side plus is there, positive. When both the side negative is there, positive. But any one side, either on the left side or on the right side, any one side if you see a negative sign, that is negative. One positive, one negative is negative. One negative, one positive is your positive, negative. So let me write this in the corner. Plus into plus equal to plus. Minus into plus equal to minus. Plus into minus is minus. Minus into minus is plus. Let us solve some sums using this plus sign. That is plus into plus is equal to plus. Plus into plus means let's say plus 8. Plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. Here you see in 8 it is positive 8. In 6 it is positive 6. Both the side of plus sign is there. So plus into plus is your plus sign. So it is plus 14. Now 31 plus 3. It is 34. Here also positive. Here also positive. So positive positive is positive. You have to add it. Similarly, 7 plus 5, it is 12. You know very well, positive and positive. Let us change. Minus into minus is again plus. So, you have to add it. Minus 5 plus minus 3. Now what you see here is on the left side minus 5. On the right side minus 3. So minus 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 minus. So minus into minus is plus. That means you have to add both this number. So 5 plus 3 is 8 but which number is greater 5 5 has what sign minus sign so you have to write that number which the greater number sign you have to write it here 5 is greater 5 is minus sign so you have to write minus obviously when both the number are negative that means the greater number is also a negative number so in the answer also you have to write the negative number but you have to add because minus into minus is plus let's take another number minus 7 plus minus 2 that is minus 7 minus 2 both the sides minus is there so 7 plus 2 is 9 both the side negative sign is there. In the answer also you have to write negative. Always remember negative, negative, negative. But you have to add it because minus into minus is plus. You are adding it. But while writing the answer, you are writing negative sign. Minus 10 plus minus 10. Both the side negative sign is there. In 10 minus is given. In 10 minus is given. That means minus into minus is plus. So 10 plus 10, 20. So it is minus 20. Minus 5 plus minus 15. Both the side negative sign is there. So you add it. 5 plus 15 is 20. So both the side negative is there. Right? Negative sign. Always remember this formula. When both the side negative, that means you have to add it, but you have to write the sign, negative sign here. Let's talk about other formula. The second formula, that is 
minus into plus is equal to minus. Minus into plus means in my on the left side is minus, right side plus. I'll write minus 10 plus 6. In 10, I have negative sign that is on the left side. In 6, I have positive sign that is on the right side. Now see, left negative, right positive. So that means you have to subtract. So 10 minus 6 is 4. Now what you have to see, the sign of greatest number. Which number is greater? 10. 10 is what sign? Negative sign. So that sign you have to write here. Here you are subtracting it because minus and plus it makes minus. So minus and plus is that it makes minus. So 10 minus 4, 6 is 4. But the sign of the greatest number is your 10. So 10 has negative sign. I will write negative here. Is it clear? Okay. I will write again minus 10 plus 16. Same thing here. One side minus, other side plus. Again subtracting. 16 minus 10 is 6. Which is greatest number? 16. So 16 has positive sign. So it is plus 6. I think little bit confusing for you. Again, I will give some more sums. Let us say minus 5 plus 5. Minus 7 plus 5 is one side, left side negative, right side positive. So that means you have to separate it. 7 minus 5, 2. Now, which is the greatest number? 7 or 5? 7 is the greatest number. Now, what that greatest number has? Negative. So, write in it. Minus 2. I will write minus 4 plus 9. Again, left side minus, right side plus. That means minus into plus, minus. So, subtract this. 9 minus 4 is 5. Which number is greater? 4 or 9? 9 is greater. So, 9 has bit sign. Positive sign. So, right here. Focus. I think this is clear for you. One more example. Again. Minus 1 plus 0. Now, 1 side plus 1 side minus. So, it is you have to subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. But, which number is greater number? Now, 0 has no sign. But, in one side you have negative number. One side you have 0. So, answer is minus. Because 0 doesn't have any sign. Always remember 0 doesn't have any sign. Minus 1 plus 0 is only minus 1. So, don't get confused. Let's come to the next number. Next formula. That is plus into minus is equal to minus. Left side plus. Right side minus. So, here also negative. 7 plus minus 5. Now, here left side positive, right side negative. So, plus into minus is minus. That means you have to subtract it. 7 minus 5 is 2. Which number is greater? Greatest number. 7 or 5? 7 is greater. So, right. Seven, the, sorry. The 7 has which number? Which sign? It has positive sign. So, right here positive. If you don't write positive, then also it's okay. 8 plus minus 10. Left side positive. Right side negative. So, you have to separate. Negative, positive is negative. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Which number is greater? 8 or 10? 10? 10 is greater. 10 has what sign? Negative sign. So, write here negative. 
the greatest number sign you have to write. Let's take another number. Q plus minus 90. Left side positive, right side negative. That means you have to subtract. So 90 minus 2 is 88. Which number is greater? 2 or 90? 90 is greater. So 90 has what sign? Negative sign. So you write here negative. Let's take one more number. I will take 70 plus minus 20. Plus. So 70 plus 70 minus 20. Left side plus right side minus. So that means you have to subtract. 70 minus 20 is 50. Now which number is greater? 70. 70 has what sign? Positive sign. So it is plus 50. So I think you understood now. But now what I you learned is the sign in the middle of these two numbers is positive. Now what if the sign of in the middle will be negative? Let's learn that. Now this is the addition. This is the addition of integer. Opposite sign. What is opposite of minus 4? Is plus 4. What is the opposite of minus 90? It is plus 90. What is the opposite of 45? Now it is plus 45. So it is minus 45. What is the opposite of 7? It is minus 7. So plus opposite is minus and minus opposite is plus. Comparing the integers. Integers for kis tarah compare karna hai. Let us see how to compare the integer. Now I have drawn a number line. Now you should understand this number line first. Then only you can compare the integer. Now 0. Right side 1, 2, 3 and it goes on. Left side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now this is a greater number. Jaisa yahan se yahan pe ja raha hai, to ye number greater hai. Aisa. 1 is greater than 0. 0 is greater than minus 1. If you compare minus 1 and 0, minus 1 is smaller and 0 is greater. Agar mein compare karo 2 or 0, to 2 bada hai. 2 greater hai. Agar minus 3 or 0 ko compare kare, so minus 3 is bada hai ke 0 bada hai, which is greater? 0 is greater, 0 bada hai minus 3 se, minus 3 chota hai, Q, 0 se kam hai minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, aur 0 se jada hai plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, so yahan se aise jayenge, to kam hote ja raha hai, aur yahan se aise jayenge, to it becomes greater and greater, abhi ek number de ta hu, minus 3, aur 3, 3 means plus 3, which is greater? Ye greater hai. Because plus hai. Agar mein minus 3 or minus 1. Ye dhul mein koon sa greater hai? Minus 3 greater ka minus 1 greater hai. Minus 1 greater hai. Dekho. Yaha se dekho 0. 0 bada hai. Usse chota minus 1. Usse chota minus 2. Usse chota minus 3. Usse chota minus 4. Aise chota hote ja raha hai. Agar minus rahe ga. To jh number bada dikhta hai. Yehi chota hai. Even left side में जा रहा है, यहाँ से right side में बड़ा होते जा रहा है, increase हो रहा है, यहाँ से left side में decrease हो रहा है, so here this is greater, so let us do some solve sums, minus twenty or zero, which is greater? Zero is greater. Because 0 is less minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 or minus 20. If I write away that minus 20 and 2, that is plus 2, which is greater? Always positive is greater, negative is smaller. 
सो so, ये पॉजिटिव है तो ये ग्रेटर है टू बड़ा है माइनस ट्वेंटी छोटा है बिकॉज टू इट एज नेगेटिव साइन नाउ विच इज ग्रेटर इफ यू गो फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सॉरी राइट टू लेफ्ट तो जीरो वन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव माइनस सिक्स माइनस ऐसे करते थे पहला माइनस फिफ्टीन आता है उसके बाद माइनस ट्वेंटी आते हैं राइट सो दैट मीन्स माइनस फिफ्टीन इज ग्रेटर टू एंड टू बोथ आर इक्वल साइड फोर्टी फाइव एंड माइनस टू इट इज नॉट इक्वल दिस टू इज ग्रेटर ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव इज ग्रेटर नेगेटिव इज स्मॉलर डिफरेंट माइनस थ्री माइनस टू विच इज ग्रेटर माइनस टू इज ग्रेटर बिकॉज इन द नंबर लाइन जीरो माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री ऐसा आ रहा है तो जीरो बड़ा है उससे छोटा ये उससे छोटा ऐसे छोटा होते जा रहे हैं तो अगर ये देखेंगे तो माइनस वन और माइनस थ्री में माइनस वन पहला आ रहा है फिर माइनस थ्री आ रहा है सो माइनस वन जो पहला है वही बड़ा है सो यर माइनस टू एंड माइनस थ्री माइनस टू पहला आता है फिर माइनस थ्री है सो माइनस टू इज ग्रेटर अगर यहां पे मैंने माइनस थर्टी दिया ना विच इज ग्रेटर पहला कौन सा आ रहा है कौन करो जीरो वन टू थ्री थ्री पहला माइनस थ्री पहला आ रहा है फिर माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव करते करते फिर माइनस थर्टी आएगा तो पहला कौन सा आया माइनस थ्री आएगा माइनस थर्टी आया माइनस थ्री आया सो माइनस थ्री इज ग्रेटर सो दिस इज द कंपेरिंग द इंटीजर नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज subtraction of integer let me give a number minus 9 minus minus 4 now here minus 9 is there i'll write minus 9 but what happen here minus and minus both are there so what you to do this bracket means multiply so minus into minus so minus into minus is plus so minus into minus you write here plus when minus bracket and minus is that you write plus 4 now our formula is one side left side negative right side positive so minus into plus minus so 9 minus 4 5 sign of the greatest number which number is greater 9 or 4 9 is greater so 9 is what sign Minus sign, so you write minus five. Now this is your answer. Let's do other sum. Minus four, minus minus nine. Here I'll write minus four. I remove the bracket by writing minus four. I have to remove this bracket also. But when I remove the bracket, here ne two negative signs are there. So minus into minus is plus then nine. Now let us come to the sum. Minus four plus nine. Left side minus, right side plus. So minus into plus, minus into plus is minus. So you have to subtract. So nine minus four is five. Which number is greater, four or nine? Nine is greater. So nine is what sign? Plus sign. So write here plus. Answer is plus five. Let me write in another way. Plus nine, minus minus four. So that means I'll write by opening the bracket. I have to open the bracket. So plus nine, minus minus plus four, minus. Bracket minus is that in place of this I have written plus sign and removed the bracket and written plus four. So that means nine plus four both the side positive is that so you have to add. So nine plus four is thirteen. So greater number nine nine as positive sign so answer is plus thirteen. So no need of writing the positive sign. I'll take the next number. Plus nine, minus plus four. 
Okay, remove the bracket. Open the bracket. I open the bracket. This plus nine. That is nine. Minus into plus. Minus into plus is minus. So I'll write here minus. Why? Why I'm writing a minus? Because minus into plus. So minus into plus is minus. So I write minus four. I open the bracket. So nine minus four. Left side plus. Right side minus. So plus into minus. Plus into minus is minus. So subtract this. Nine minus four is five. Which number is greater, nine or four? Nine is greater. So nine has what sign? It has plus sign. So I write plus five. So I think the sum is clear for you. Now you can solve as many as sum you can. Let me do one or two sums. I'll do the bigger number minus fifty minus minus ten. Tell me what is the answer. First, open the bracket. I'll open this bracket. So I'll write minus fifty. Minus into minus is plus. Then ten. I open the bracket and written ten. And this two minus becomes plus ten. Left side plus minus, right side plus. So minus into plus, minus. So you have to subtract this. Fifty minus ten is forty. Which number is greater, fifty or ten? Fifty is greater. Fifty has what sign? Fifty has what sign? Fifty has minus sign. So it is minus forty. Whatever, whichever number is greater, that sign you have to write it in the answer. One more example, I think. Eight minus minus six. What is the answer? I'll write eight minus into minus plus. This minus minus I written plus six. So eight plus six, fourteen. Both the side positive sign is there. So I written positive answer. I think this is clear for you. So try to solve practice set seven, practice set eight for more understanding. Thank you. In practice at A, the question is given in this way. I think you will be confused by seeing the question. How to solve it? It's very easy. First, you take this three and subtract with six, nine, minus four, and minus five. Like three minus six. It is minus three. Now here three. What sign is given here? Minus minus nine. Now three minus nine is. Left side plus, right side minus. So any one side minus is there means you have to subtract it. So three minus six is six. Greater number is nine. Nine has minus sign, so minus six. So this is what three minus minus four. Three minus in a bracket you write minus four because negative is there. Already this minus you written here. This minus was written in a bracket. So minus into minus plus. So you write three plus four is seven. So this one three minus this minus I'm writing here, and in a bracket I write minus five. Now three minus into minus plus three plus five is eight. In this way you have to solve the remaining sum. This eight minus six, eight minus nine, eight minus minus four, eight minus minus five. In this way you have to Solve the practice set eight. So more practice you do, the more you will learn how to solve the sums. Thank you very much.